Today I'm going to show you how to work out the median class interval from a grouped frequency table. So I've put a couple of steps to follow here. First of all you need to half the total frequency and then you need to add up the frequency column until you go past this halfway number. So the best way to see this is by looking at an example. So in example one we got the weights of a group of people and the weights go from 0 up to 80 kilograms. So the first thing you need to do to find the median class interval is to add up the frequency column. So you've got 12, 20, 26 and 30. So the first thing we need to do then is half the total frequency. So half of 30 is equal to 15. So this tells us that the median occurs on the 15th person. So if we go back to our frequency column and all we need to do is add up the frequency until we go past 15. So 4 add 6 is 10 so we haven't gone past 15 yet. If we add on 8 that takes us to 18 so we've gone past the 15th person here. So that tells us that the 15th person has a weight between 40 and 60 kilograms so our median class interval will be 40 up to 60 kilograms so let's look at example 2 this time we've got the running times of a group of athletes who took part in a race so again first thing you need to do to find the median class interval is to work out the total frequency and half it so let's add these up. So we've got 7, add 9 is 16, add 5 is 21, add 8 is 29, add 7 is 36. So if we find half of 36, that is 18. So that will tell us that the median person will be the 18th one. So if we go back to the top of the frequency table and keep adding these numbers up until we go past... 18 so I start on 7 so we haven't gone past 18 yet add on 9 that takes us to 16 so we're nearly there now add on 5 will take us to 21 so we've gone past 18 in this one here so the median class interval will be 6 up to 9 minutes